Kelly Jensen. I write the newsletters at photojojo.com, and I'm also the writer and photographer of the Photo Jojo book. Yes, yay, uh, and so forth. Anyway, uh, this is my dog. She's really great. Okay, anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make uh, one of the projects from the Photo Jojo book. It's really simple. It's just how to make these little um, hanging ornament guys out of photographs. Super simple, super easy, pretty great. So what you need, um, I've got a couple colors of embroidery floss. You could just use string. I have a photograph. I have my trusty pencil. I have um, a couple of little paper fasteners, AKA brads. I have my trusty ruler, my trusty scissors, and a sinister hole punch with a checkered past. Or alternatively, just a, a hole punch. Okay, so anyway, um, the kind of photos that you want to use for this, they don't necessarily need to be representative of anything. You can just use texture or pattern or color. Um, these are both really close up shots of flowers. Um, this one is some raspberries from the farmer's market in a little basket. So it doesn't have to be super legible, you just really want the color and texture. So what I've been doing here is um, we need to cut these photographs into little strips. So I've marked, um, I try to do nine to mm, 10 to 12 strips per photo. So I've marked 12 little half inch strips on here with a ruler and pencil, just marked them off. Um, and then I'm just cutting them into strips. So um, what I also did on the back here is I numbered each strip. You know, just put a little number, you know, right along here. Um, and that's just so that if I decide that I want to reassemble the strips in order, um, then I'll know which one's which and I won't have to reassemble this puzzle. Um, you don't have to reassemble them in order, you can just do them however you want. You know, if you're creative, do what you want. Right, so I'm cutting these little guys into strips. And when I'm done, you know, I'm not going to do the whole thing right now. Um, when I'm done with that, I'm just going to take these guys and I need to punch holes in the end of each strip. Um, so I'm just going to do two at a time. Um, really, you know, really easy. You can just eyeball it. It doesn't have to be crazy precise. Um, so just punch a hole in each end. Super easy. Um, but since you don't want to sit here and watch me punch holes all day, I already did some strips earlier. Ha ha. So what I've got is a whole bunch of little strips with holes. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little paper fastener through all of these little holes. And I've actually already done that on one end, ho ho. So I've got my little paper fastener and then I, I've, um, this is at the end, I'll get to that later. Right, so put my little paper fastener guy in here just put them through the holes, close the little tabs, and that's what you've got. Um, you don't want to close it too tight, you want to have a little room for the strips to wiggle. So when you've got your little stack and you've got them fastened, um, you're just going to basically do this. Uh, you want to give the paper some shape so that it's easier to uh, fan out into a little orb later on. Uh, so you can do this. Okay, so. Um, I've got my little stack, I've got my little curve, and I'm just going to start um, fanning out these little strips. It's pretty easy. Um, so eventually you want to have your little circle, and you know, you just kind of even them out a little bit there, and you have your cool little ball ornament. Um, and then you just cut a little length of embroidery floss, tie it around the fastener, um, and then just tie it on the end so you have a little loop and you can hang it from stuff. So you can hang them around the house, you can put them on Christmas trees, Hanukkah bushes, atheist celebratory plant-like objects. Yeah, pretty much anywhere. So that is um, one of the projects from the Photo Jojo book. And they all involve, they all, <laughs> they all involve photos and um, they're all really cool, frankly. I have to say, they're really cool. So thanks for watching and um, Kelly Jensen signing off. Bye.